Hello. What's going on? Alright. Get the shades in the way, my bad. Alright. I welcome you to the channel. Um, thank you for your time. Alright, it's a nice day today, Saturday. It's about, shoot, it's pushing what, 95 degrees right now here in Las Vegas. Alright, but I want to talk about this this rapper Lil Key, 24 years old that mysteriously died in his home for whatever reason, okay? I don't believe that the news is putting it out what really happened, all right? But there was supposed to be some news about a YSN versus YSL gang that was affiliated with, uh, what's those guys name? Young Thug and uh, the other dude, uh, Gunner, that they were friends or whatever. Those guys were rapping and they had they got caught up on uh, RICO charges, okay? Some type of affiliation, like, um, with that, with, with the rival gang. And this young man is supposed to be tied into that. Okay, now we don't all know what happened, all right? But just from family, okay, that got killed and so forth, okay? And my, when I was younger, all right, with being around people, that we're in that type of activity. Other things, like one time I wanted to get in law, okay? And uh, I've seen enough of these law programs to predict what happened, all right? That if it's one gang against the other, all right, you start to see more than likely some of these top guys gonna end up getting locked up are going to end up dead, all right? And there's going to be an internal war with these gangs. Uh, we was able to see that during the, that killing of young, uh, young Dolph, that there was, what, 15, 20 people? <clears throat> Excuse me. I had a girl, a lady in my car that was from Memphis that said that it was more than that, okay? Um, between rival uh, groups that people like, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think who's the other guy, uh, name uh, Yo Gotti and all those guys are affiliated with okay and a lot of these these killings and so forth they result from beef that went way back 10 years ago 15 years ago okay and now it's to a point where once again that these groups are starting to crumble from the top <clears throat> and when the top generals when they fall well they have to figure out who's going to run these groups, so they're going to end up dispersing, one of the two, all right? And that's where a lot of these wars are about, okay? People are probably afraid. People are probably going their separate ways and so forth. Um, anybody that a group member uh, feel is vulnerable is probably going to end up uh, bodied up, okay? Uh, I want to say something else about that. I think that's, that's that YSL gang. I didn't know that the state can do RICO charges, the state of Georgia. And I do believe that that RICO case was BS for those guys getting in trouble something like five years ago, but uh, six years ago, and they didn't have any recent charges. But being that those guys, okay, between, uh, depending, uh, between those guys are robbing people, beating up uh, people and, and, and going spraying up people and making rap songs about it, okay? They, those guys end up telling on themselves, okay? I think that it's BS, but they're gonna, you have to look at what they, go, they, they wanna do. They're gonna get those guys off the streets, okay? It doesn't matter if the feds and the state gets involved in it, okay? Uh, and I think probably the feds are probably gonna give more of those those cases to the state for RICO charges and so forth, okay? Um, it's about the same as a federal case. Uh, they're a little bit easier to beat and maybe the, the sentences are a little bit more flexible, not too much, but they, that's what they're gonna do, all right? They get these guys off the streets because these groups are getting too large, there's too many people, there's, these gang members are using kids for lookouts, okay? That the DA, all right, in places like Atlanta and many of these other cities, 
uh, the FBI and so forth, all right, Department of Justice, they getting too many letters from crime mothers, okay, wives and so forth, okay, where these guys end up getting killed, all right, these, these gangs are spreading too large, getting into these communities that where a lot of money is in, invested in these houses, and they already have enough problems in these uh, high-scale communities, okay, and some of these guys are making a lot of money doing what they love to do, but can't choose one side or the other. And I think that's affecting, like I say, older people, senior citizens. I made a video about them in Chicago, a senior citizen that got shot over some other rapper's beef, okay? Um, on Mother's Day, just the other day. You can check that video out, okay? So, I mean, those guys are larger than life, those in, in Atlanta, okay? Crime that went up 40%. So are they gonna keep letting these guys continue like this, all right? What if it was your son or daughter? You can say whatever you want to say about me, that I'm gossiping or whatever, but what if it was you or your son or your daughter, okay? I've known three people in my family that got popped up, three, okay? Three and the other two that got caught up or whatever and done to our time for drugs, all right? And this, that's something that I just chose I did not want to do, okay, for the sake of me and my family. I, there ain't no punk move about having your freedom and having your family, okay? Being there for your kids. Dying old when you're like 90, 100 years old. We should be living to almost 100 years old with your kids and your great-grandchildren and, you know, uh, 40 other people around you in your bed. And these dudes are barely even 20, 25 over here dying over some BS, girls and all that, okay? Over something that you probably could have worked for by the time you end up going to jail, you end up doing 40 or 50 years for, okay? If you were lucky enough to get out to get out, or or you could survive a shooting or whatever, okay? But you also have to look at what they're trying to do. And I think that's what's going on, probably with a purge, with a purge going on, okay, in Atlanta. And that's gonna happen in other cities. What these guys are gonna start doing is they're gonna start telling each other just to get the heat off them, all right? I'm almost willing to bet that's what happened to, to this, what's that, that young little uh, kid or whatever, okay, because these guys know too much, all right? More than likely, even if the powers that want you to be, that want you dead or whatever, you're gonna eventually do it to yourself. Nine times out of 10, many of these guys, they do it to themselves, all right? Like Kevin Samuels, he did that to himself, all right? and. You do what you do is you make those the job easier for the powers to be. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna make money off you or whatever, okay, off your off your hits, keep your rights, all right, and they're gonna win every time. Okay? So I just think there's time for a change. Okay, time for the community to get back to where it needs to be and start looking out for one another. Okay, it's either that or there needs to be a cataclysmic event to force everybody. Uh, to join forces again. Let me know what you think about the video. All I can say is rest in peace to the brother. His life was cut short too soon.